everybody. Good evening. Uh, my name's Alan, and uh, on behalf of the crew of the show, I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Bridging Heaven and Earth. Uh, this show is being shot live uh, on September 5th, uh, 1997, and this has been quite a week for human beings here on Earth. First, the, the death of Princess Diana, and then today, the death of uh, Mother Teresa. And, you know, it's interesting how fragile we are. I mean, fragile we are at the age of 36, and fragile we are at the age of, I don't know, I think Mother Teresa was 90. And all of us are here today and gone tomorrow, and it's just which day. So we have to learn to, to appreciate and, and, and love and give and be grateful and thankful for the days we're given here and the love we're allowed to experience here. Uh, and it's just, you know, it really struck me as just an extraordinary thing with, with the outpourings of love that have been coming forth towards uh, Princess Diana and, and her memory and Mother Teresa certainly in her memory. And then you have the outpourings of hate when people strap bombs on themselves and go into uh, crowded malls and crowded coffee houses with bombs that have, have nails on them with the express purpose of, of killing and maiming. And that is, in a sense, what the human experience is about. It's, it's, it's the duality of the love and the hate. And, and my experience is, is that the battle is on now, the battle against darkness and light, and, and light is coming into a place where, where love is going to take over, where that beauty is going to eliminate the darkness. Darkness can't exist where there is light, but darkness will fight back. So for all of us, it's a time when our faith has to be stronger, our love has to be stronger, our compassion, our, our cooperation has to be stronger. And it was an interesting thing because this is our 49th show and, and we were thinking of doing like a retrospective and a highlight show and uh, for the 50th show and then it turns out that we'll, I'll talk about it a little more later but the 50th show we're having like this special uh, uh, gathering, a goddess gathering in, in Santa Barbara over the next period and they're going to be doing some, some beautiful work on the next show it looks like. So. I wanted to give them the opportunity to do the 50th show, but I did want to f want everyone to know that what goes on in this show, I mean, sometimes you see me and sometimes you see a guest or two or a singer, an artist, a, a musician, a psychic, a healer, incredible people. But what goes on behind the scenes, what goes on to make this show what it is, is the experience that I want to share with you tonight. And as it worked out, just how Grace worked it out, the guest that was supposed to be on it didn't work that they could come on. The, the guest who was supposed to have me talking to them for a good period of time. So we're really going to do a show where you're going to get to see how Bridging Heaven and Earth is put together, how the love and the energy and the cooperation that it takes to put this show on. And we're going to have with us one of our old favorites, probably the most the person who's been on the show the most is Abigail, and she's with us tonight to sing some songs, so it's going to be an extraordinary experience for all of us, I'm sure. But I wanted you to meet the crew of the show and, and experience their love and their devotion and show you how this show gets put on and how the cooperation, really without ego, as much as humans are possible, puts this show together week in and week out. And I'm just really excited about it in this week of death, in this week of birth, in this week of love. So please join me in, in a meditation now, and then we have just enormous gifts and, and, and experiences for you tonight. So please join me, as I normally say at this time, let's have that experience, let's quiet down. If you know how to meditate, use the techniques you know. If not, just follow your breath for a little while and join me, please. Thank you. Uh, and I guess we're going to have Abby's first song now, and it's called 
to the highest thrones, to the highest thrones. So whenever we're ready, Abby, a re rare treat for us and for you tonight. Abby's with us. for a while in Santa Barbara, but um, I've been with you in spirit, I think. I've been in the woods playing songs and playing with myself in my spirit. And I'm here to play tonight for you what I've written in the woods. So this is called To the Highest Drums. Children. 
you, Abby. Oh, that was beautiful. Well, we're going to get two more of those. And, and tonight's show is going to be a really, it's, it's a down-home show. It's a show about really the making of, of Bridging Heaven and Earth and, and how much dedication and devotion is put into this show every week by all the people. And they're all volunteers. It's done at a public access facility by volunteers, really as a labor of love. And it, it's really extraordinary. So. And the show is sent out, as I've said, on numerous occasions all over the country, in New York and Washington and Philadelphia and Sacramento, Mill Valley, Ojai, Santa Paula, Thousand Oaks, Camarillo, just a lot of places. And, and we're really pleased that, that the response has been so great. And one call I got from the New York area was uh, I was having a, a discussion with uh, Joel Andrews, the master harpist, on one of the past shows, and we were talking about uh, having the experience and once you have the experience you don't really need the rules and I brought up this thing and I brought it up on other shows about uh, well let me read it to you and, I, and I, it's an old Chinese proverb and I just wanted to bring it in and read it to you I think it's really beautiful it's one of my kind of favorite things to remember the rabbit snare exists because of the rabbit once you've got the rabbit you can forget the snare words exist because of the meaning once you've got the meaning, you can forget the words. Where can I find a man who has forgotten the words so I may have a word with him? And it really means something to me. It's by Chang Su. And I think it was done, you know, in the <laughs> way past history of humankind. So I know we use a lot of words on the show, but we really try to, when people ask me what the, the show is about, what I say is it's about the vibration of cooperation, it's about, it's about the vibration of love, it's about, about the vibration of working together, of, of, of the oneness. As you see on all the things, you'll see on the flyer we'll show you later, uh, it's dedicated to the oneness and that's what everyone who you'll meet later, who works on the cameras, who works in the control room, who comes as guests on the show, the audience, that's, what, that's their hope to bring to the show and that's the attempt of everyone here. So. If anybody you, you who've, who've been fans of the show for a while know that we this this is the 49th show we did a, actually an Abbey special so this crew has probably done about 50 shows together more or less, but the first 39 was with a co-host with Stancia and for a certain uh, uh, the Oasis Television Network we put together a 10 minute uh, highlight tape of uh, I guess the first two and a half seasons or so with some of uh, you know the extraordinary experiences we all had on those shows so I wanted you to see that you know just to, to show that you know we're here now but we have a history we have a past that that love is is multiplying and, and coming together in, in really extraordinary ways so uh, whenever it's ready we have a 10 minute uh, highlight video and it's uh, it's very beautiful so I hope you enjoy it thank you My name is Alan, and I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Bridging Heaven and Earth. I would say tonight we have a show of magic and wonder. It should be a really, really special show, and we're really excited about it. So uh, just sit down, pull out, and whatever happened to you earlier in the day, let it go. Be here now. Be with this show. Be with the vibration of the show. I think you'll really have a wonderful experience because. We have, we're, we're with old friends, we're with new friends, and there'll be really some special things happening. So as we do at this time to, to set a tone for the show, uh, we'll have Wisconsin lead us in a, uh, an invocation and a meditation, and then we have really a lot of wonderful things to, to present for you tonight. So, Wisconsin. Asking to know ourselves and therefore know the highest, most high God, that lives within the heart. 
So closing your eyes with me if you wish. Grounding our light down into the center of the earth, into the crystal that lies there. And sending our love and our light up into all the highest aspects of ourself, all the way to the great central sun. And all around us, connecting heart to heart and soul to soul with each other. As we go within and enter a moment of silent meditation together. Thank you. just a human being. I'm connected to a whole body of intelligence, let's say the Christ intelligence. I'm, I'm connected to the universe, actually. I'm connected to the cosmos. At that point, there's a, uh, a series of transformations that go on in the body and around the body that begin to take us through what I call what is the crucifixion, which is the releasing, really, the dissolving and the dissolution of that which is no longer serving us. So it's a kind of a death, but I hate to use that word. It's, a, it's mm -hmm. just a letting go of all that is not in harmony with the Christ vibration, which is not just uh, something that's coming to me. This is written about in Hopi prophecies. This is written about scientists are talking about the coming in of the photon belt, some things which we'll get into in a little while mm -hmm. if you'd like to. Yeah. But basically, the crucifixion is the letting go of the old and the past and the play of the ego. And the egos had to have a play in order to survive, in order to um, make it this far in the world. There had to be a kind of a separation. And that's part of the mastery of this planet, to go through separation, to go through actually negativity, and to master negativity, and to, um, to come on top of it and to realize that we have dominion in this world. It's a very interesting planet to choose to be incarnated on. You'll notice in most of my paintings, beams of light, bright planets, because where I went into is like you described earlier, like a kingdom. Mm -hmm. It was like a, just a, something I've never even seen on TV before. But these figures, there's millions and millions of these figures getting inside tubes of light that were going towards bright planets. Yeah. Now, I've read about near-death accounts since where people have gone down and saw the tunnel of light. I didn't experience right. that. Right. Because every time I tried to get into the tube, like these other angels, they were going into the tubes and in single file going up to the bright planet. As I tried to get in, I would bounce away. Wow. I kept bouncing away, and that's when I woke up in the hospital. Last rest upon earth. I feel you searching for the party that was there upon your birth. In all my efforts, I will find you like a dream that I awoke from. Long ago, I was young. Like this is a unique lifetime, and we've all known this for a very long time, but this is the ultimate culmination of everything that we have been preparing for, working toward, going through our challenges for. And the unique thing about this particular time is that we're in the middle of an unusual experiment, uh, different than has ever happened in any other solar system, in any other time frame or dimension. Never has a planet that's discontaminated with negativity been given an opportunity to move forward this quickly in the light. And the reason this was allowed is because it was seen by all the company of heaven that there would be a time when after our thousands of years of preparation we would be able to come into the physical plane and fulfill this moment and awaken to our divine mission and accomplish it.
awareness of this Christed energy that we are and allow that to carry us into the I am that I am that has seated us from the beginning and is carrying us now into the Omega point of return into homecoming and this we say in the name of the Christ Amen and Amen and so it is to do something, to paint in such a way that I could express their reality so that angels would no longer be on pedestals, mm -hmm. but that we could connect with them in a real way. Right. You know, Bridging brothers and sisters. And Earth, right? right, exactly. Yeah. So you're on the wrong show. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need to really love ourselves. So just, you know, thanks everybody for, I, mean, I don't know, this has been such thank an incredible so much. show. Thank you Thank you so for having much. us. You know, thank you. you very much. Oh, and, if anybody, well. and if anybody wants any information, give me a call. You'll see it at the end. Good night. God bless you. Everybody, you're back live September 5th, 1997. Uh, yeah, there were some wonderful, wonderful guests, just, just inspiring and powerful and just heart opening. And, you know, hopefully we'll have more. I mean, it's been an interesting time because there's been so much fluctuation. I mean, there's been a lot of turmoil about the show in terms of. Uh, you know, some little miscommunication with the studio, so we never know which is the last show, but it looks like we're going to have a lot more shows, and it looks like what's been happening is I've been getting calls because the show is, you know, just get, gaining momentum as it's on further and further. So, uh, we've been getting calls from just authors and, and musicians and, and people who want to be on the show, so I think there's going to be a lot more highlights. We're going to do a highlight tape of this of this season too. But now I just want to take you around and show you what's behind the scenes of Bridging Heaven and Earth. Who the camera people are, what their lives are like, what brings their love and their dedication to this show that has made this show truly what it is. So, I guess the first person we on we we will talk about tonight is Michael Nicholson who's on camera three tonight, who's shooting me, or now is being shot uh, by camera two, uh, which we'll show you a little later. Now, Michael has been, I would say, on every show of Bridging Heaven and Earth. He has, right now, he's the reigning superstar of the station here, COM17, because of his dedication, because of his love, and because he's willing to work and help and be a... Uh, a mentor and, and a teacher for anyone really who wants to learn here and we're just really fortunate to have him and not only that is Michael uh, can do almost anything he's he's been on so many shows he directs shows he produces shows that anything we need done without ego Michael is happy and willing to do and it's just we're really blessed to have him with us okay now We'll have on camera two. What are we doing now, everybody? Okay, we're back to me. 
And now we want to do uh, Jerry. Is anybody lining up to get Jerry, who's on camera one, which is the camera I'm on now. So he's working the camera I'm on. We, we were trying to set this up and choreograph it so it didn't look chinchy. And I guess you'll tell me whether it is. Now there's Jerry, and he's on camera one. Jerry, we, we're, we tape the show in Santa Barbara, and every week Jerry drives in from Solvang over 154. It's about an hour drive. And since he started on the show, which I guess was, you know, in show 10 or 12, basically he hasn't missed the show unless I think one time he had the flu or something. And, you know, Jerry also has learned to do numerous functions here and just comes with a love and a spirit, a spirit of joy. I think you could see that now, you know, playful and, you know, some things he crosses over, we don't know what to do with him, but uh, I mean, it's, it's really to bring that love and that joy into the show is really is really what it's about and that kind of cooperation. So here I am back and now we're lining up to have uh, Michael on camera three is going to... Okay, Jerry's live and we're moving all over the place. So, I mean, we knew that this was going to happen. And now we want to show Joe Leff, who's on camera two, the middle camera, and you can see behind him Michael. Uh, so that's why you saw Jerry move the camera. Now, normally that wouldn't be uh, the way we would do it, but we wouldn't... See, normally we wouldn't move a live camera. We're here with three cameras, so what we would do is cut back and forth. So let's get a camera on Joe Left for another second. Could, could Jerry do that? Because Joe Left actually was a guest on the show. He and his wife were on the show as a sacred couple with another couple. And part of that show, we showed... Uh, his wedding with Stancy, who was the co-host that you saw in the highlight show, and if you've seen the first 39 shows, you know that Stancy was the co-host. Uh, she was the, uh, what do you call it, Joe? The reverend or the, the minister. She was the minister of the show. And Joe Leff has been, right from the beginning, it was, it was partly his conception of it, and Joe Leff has been on every show except the ones he had to move to Seattle for a while to do some business things. But every other show he's been here, and he too can do almost everything in the studio and does it with love, with joy, and without ego. So again, these are the camera people, and that's, that's how fortunate we are to be able to, to bring that energy to you. So I mean, so if you see me or you saw Wistancia and I, uh, you don't know the energy that other people brought into this place, and we thought it was important in this week of, as every week is of life and death, but as, as we're nearing a, a milestone, the 50th live show that goes all over the country. Uh, uh, really, I mean, you don't see too many spiritual talk show magazines that have the quality of guests and talent that we do and, and the production values. So, and there we have, I think I'll describe this later, maybe could someone get a camera on the floor director, Kara, who's been on the show, so that's, that's the flyer for the, uh, for the fourth season. We've had flyers for all the other seasons. This is the flyer for the fourth season. I'll describe it and has all the dates on it. And really the important thing we have is dedicated to the one. So there's Kara, Kara Dodge Wentworth, who's the floor director and does my makeup and hair. And so any complaints about my hair, mom, dad, blame Kara, no. No, uh, she, since she started doing it, she looked a lot better, as you all know. Uh, and she's been doing the makeup, and Kara and I go back probably like 15, 16, 17 years since I guess she was 22, and I was 23, I think, at that time, 17 years ago. And uh, she, just, she just took all the classes to become a member, so she, just for this season, has come on and, you know, is learning all the different... Uh, crafts and all the different things and and it's just bringing that love and that devotion she comes over during the afternoon to help me you know get the show set up now what we're going to do when we we're trying to set it up now is we're going to bring the cameras michael's camera that's camera three now that you know what's going on here into the control room so you can see what goes on there with the 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 uh the, the uh, technical director, the, the computer graphics person, 
the, the director and the audio person are in there, the monitors are in there, how they use a B-roll which goes behind me. I think you saw behind Abby the, the clouds and the, the nature scenes behind Abby. So uh, I think we're going to get that set up in there and then we'll start bringing that up. So what we have in there is Bob Grunenberg and what you can hear behind me is the director making the calls over the, 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 the loudspeaker. Now he's going to be directing the camera people, he's going to be directing the floor director, and he's calling all the shots. Now, maybe, listen, I don't know if the sound is real good. We try to set it up as best we can. Listen. Now, camera three is in the control room. So that's, now we're coming up over the shoulder of Bob Grunenberg, who's the, we're going to see the monitors, and that's Bob Grunenberg. Now, he's going to probably bring up his own credit in a minute. And you see him on the monitors in there. And Bob Grunenberg does the technical directing and the computer graphics. And he's also, you know, a computer riz. And he's also, Bob has done, Bob actually brought me into uh, COM17 or Bridging Heaven and Earth because he did a show called uh, Excerpts from Baja that was actually one of the, the most popular shows and he's still looking to do them. Actually, we just bought some editing equipment that Bob and I uh, have split and we're gonna, hopefully going to work on. So let's listen to what Jeff is going to say now. And now we're coming back to, see now that's Jeff, that's Jeff Azevedo, the director, he's a videographer for a profession, he does events, he does weddings, and he also brings like a joy and a love, there he is, and he's putting in what you'll see as a B-roll, and then he'll call out, you'll hear him, to bring it up, and then you'll see the B-roll, what we call the B-roll, a video behind the scene come up. Okay, Jeff, bring up the B-roll now. Here it comes. See, there's the B-roll. And you're hearing his commands to, the, to all the, the different crew members. That's what the director's doing. Now he's, he's dissolving to, to Joe Left's camera. And now we see Bob Grunenberg in the back, Jeff Azevedo in the middle, and Greg Allen, the audio director, on the board, closest to the camera. Now, Greg also has been a director and a producer and has done an enormous shows here, and he also can do everything. Now we're seeing a monitor of what we're seeing before, and you see there are about six or seven or eight monitors and the director is picking which one and which camera the monitors show all the three cameras it shows the b-roll which is behind the camera let's listen to see what jeff is saying now now he's bringing up the b-roll half and half and you can see how it's coming in behind the image that the camera is shooting is his b-roll we bring it up behind the uh behind the meditation sometimes, behind Abby. Like you'll see when Abby comes up later, we're going to bring up some B-roll of clouds behind her, which gives a beautiful visual effect. And these are the director's choices. See how the beauty of that comes through it, and, it, and if he picks the right time to do it, how beautiful it comes out. Okay, let's listen to the director some more. Greg, can we, is that, is that, is the audio going to, is, is, is Jeff's audio hearable on the, on the uh, master? Okay. I can hear you. See, that's behind Jeff, and that's the board. Uh, that's behind Greg, and he's on the audio board. Now, you'll see he's doing all the different levels. You see the, see the, 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 uh, the sliders. He's moving up and down for... For when Abby's doing the guitar, when I'm talking, when when Jeff is talking. Okay. 
And Greg also does the soundtrack, the Joel Andrews soundtrack that's behind the show usually. Okay, now Michael on camera three is kind of backing himself out. What you're seeing on the, on the monitor, on your television screen, is Joe Left's picture of the control room with, with Bob and, and Jeff and Greg in there. See, and that's all the control room with the three of them there, and there are what? Five, six, seven, eight monitors. Is that how many monitors there are, Jeff? Eight? And now, see, now he's switching cameras. Now, Jerry's got the camera on me, on camera one. And what you saw Bob Grunenberg do was just switch from one of the cameras to another. So now we're on that camera. Okay, now Michael is coming out of the room now. And now we're going to get set up for one last shot in the control room. See, so I mean, when I tell you that a lot is going into making this show beautiful and, and to bring that vibration of the oneness through. You see, so, so when I talk to you about how much it takes to bring this, and, and, and other times, because everybody here believes in an apprenticeship program, at different times we have backup people on every one of the positions you're seeing learning the different functions and learning the thing because to us you know community television and, and, and just the spirit of it is learning and growing and experimenting and working together in love and cooperating so it just worked out tonight that 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 didn't happen that way but so I hope you got a feel for it and I, I wanted you to know that that there's just a lot of love and a lot of dedication that goes into to making the production values as, as they are. And we're very proud of them. Pride comes before the fall, of course. But in that way that we try to do our best to bring you as much consciousness as possible. So, uh, okay, so now I guess, are we set up for Abby? So Abby's going to sing her second song, The Lighter I Am, You're In For a Treat. This is one of my favorite Abby songs. So Abby, please. I just got back from Yosemite the other week. It was so beautiful. I recommend going there. Staying there as long as possible. Not leaving until they cry you out like they did with me. It was so beautiful. Anyway, this is called The Lighter I Am.
Yeah, thank you, Abby. That was really beautiful. Thanks again. So, uh, again, we wanted to share with you, uh, this was a show of just kind of to let you know what goes on with making this show and also to let you know how important the audience and the feedback that everyone you know, gives us from across the country. I mean, I get stopped in Santa Barbara all the time about this guest or that guest. I mean, the last show we had was uh, someone who, Anne, who was the head of the, the uh, Universal Cetacean Institute, and we had these videos of, of how SeaWorld is involved with the capture of dolphins and whales, and, and people were coming up to me all over the place and saying, you know, they'll never think of SeaWorld the same way again. So, I mean, I know we're having an impact, and I know that your love and your support is important to us. So, we wanted to share with you, I got a call, because I mentioned this before, and people wanted to see the flyer for the fourth season, because we've shown the flyers for the other seasons. So, if we can get that on camera, uh, we could do the flyer, maybe kind of walk through it. Is the flyer available? I think it would be, all right, let me, let me, I'll just, yeah, there it is. Uh, if somebody could show it, yeah. And we have it, you know, it, it, it basically, we just, we put this around town and we, we send it all over the country with obviously different text on it. It's just to give a feel for what the show is about. And, and I mean, bridging heaven and earth is really what the show is about. And then what we say on there, I don't know if it can be read. I mean, maybe when we get there, we'll see it. But now is the time for lifting of consciousness. The bridge connecting heaven and earth is in the open heart. The show is about love. Our lives are about love. Uh, about love. Our lives are about coming together in that love, about experience. This experience where nothing is separate, where, where all is part of the whole, where all is one. And when we have that experience, we don't do what we do. We don't hurt each other. We don't hurt the oceans. We don't cut down trees randomly to build decks. We just don't. Because the experience we're having is that this tree and this, this, this dolphin, this whale, is our, is our life, it is our love, is our brother, is our sister. And, and we wouldn't be treating the things, we wouldn't strap bombs on ourselves with, with uh, nails in them and go to a public place and blow ourselves up. I mean, how much, what do we think of our own human life? How valuable, do we know how precious and valuable our own human life is? Do we? Do we have any idea that we can do that? So we can take not only our own life, but, but just just take as many lives as we can with us. I mean, what, what is our experience? Are we experiencing the true love of this life? Are we experiencing that connectedness, that, that beauty? We're obviously not, and that's what we need to experience this, no matter what race, religion, color, creed. That's what we're here to experience. And for this next season, we have, well, for the next three shows in this season, we have, for this, this fourth season where you just saw the flyer, we have three more shows, and, and I think they're going to be just tremendously powerful shows. The next show, which will be taped two weeks from today in Santa Barbara and then go out to all the other cities, is a show, there's a, an ongoing festival, I think it's in its third or fourth or fifth year, Goddess Alive, and the, uh, the saying for this year is, I think, Freedom Now or something like that, and they're going to be hundreds and hundreds, thousands perhaps, of, of, of women coming together, not excluding men, but more so women, and bringing that like goddess energy, that love energy. And, and we're, they're going to do live performances, we're hoping that they do that on the show here, and we're going to give them that time to introduce themselves and introduce their consciousness and their love. And the show after that, we have Claire Hartsong, who's been on, you saw on the highlight tape, and Claire is... Her name is Heart Song, and her name is Heart Opening. Her name, really, she's one of the most loving and open people I know. And she's going to bring information. She just sent me a tape, you know, to prepare for the show. That is one of the most extraordinary tapes I've heard in a long time, and it really opened me up. So, and, and has enormous amounts of information. 
So we're really excited about that. And then for the last show of this season, before we apply for a new season, we have Patrice Karst, who's coming on. She just confirmed, and she's written the best-selling book, uh, God, God Made Easy, which is really a neat little book, and she's a very far-out person. And with her, we have an old favorite of ours, Marilyn's coming on, So, who's, who's an extraordinary singer. and has got a new album coming out. She was supposed to be on before this uh, a couple of months ago, but she said, can we wait till this new CD is ready? So there's a lot happening, and I just wanted to share this with you. Really, it's, it's, it's like a down-home show. And one of our favorites is going to sing her, her last song tonight, and it's called Little Ones. Abby, take it away. We love you. my last song and I was just getting warmed up with you guys. <laughs> well, this is a, this is a song about, um, we well, have to see, but it's about the people, the experience in Yosemite, really, and in all the places and chances like that place. It's called Little Ones. Little people, little ones, little people. Just 
Well, thanks, Abby. So again, we're re we're re reaching the end of the show. I mean, these shows seem to go by so fast, and as you can see, so much energy and time and love and dedication is putting into the is put into bringing these shows to you, and and really, they're a joy for us to do. I mean. To me, if it wasn't a joy to do, then what would be the point? I mean, you know, sometimes things happen, things break, the cameras, this, that, the other. I mean, there are always trials and tribulations in life, but basically, it's a joy for us to bring this energy and these these guests and Abby and and Claire Hartsong and 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 Crystal Krista Ray and. Uh, Andy Lakey and Judith Orloff and Patrice Karras and Diane Cota Robles and just all these people who, who come from all over the country to share with us and with you their, their dedication, their love, the knowledge that they've been given, the gifts that they've been given, and they do it so openly and so lovingly. And of, of all the shows we've done, I would say we've had a few actually maybe even just one where ego came out where it was a problem and you know like somebody well how can you do that or how can you do that there's been such a such a a, a wellspring of cooperation just a wellspring of love so please if you feel to call us and you feel that there's going to be feedback and you'd like to give feedback please call us at 805-687-2053 that's 805-687-2053. Really, your feedback is so important to us. When I get the calls, I'm just so blissed out. And when I pass the messages along to the crew and, and everyone else, it's just we're all so delighted that this show touches you, that this show means something to you. And tonight's show was just a show to bring you into, our, into, the, into the back of our home, to show you what it takes to put this on, and, and what it means to all of us to be able to do that. So, thanks for watching. Thanks again. Good night. God bless you. Thank you.